Advancing Word Power, Chapter 13, Townshed Press, Sherry L. Nist. We're going to read out Unit 3 real quick. Chapter 13, Advocate, Antipath- Antipathy, Antipathy, Emancipate, Innocent Idiosyncrasy, Eminent, Impede, Inclusive, Jurisdiction, pre- uh, Precarious, Preposterous, Austere, Esoteric, Facimil, Grotesque, Mesmerize, metamorphosis, notorious, perfunctory, prerogative, travesty, connoisseur, conspiracy, contrite, distraught, germane, lucid, plight, superfil, superfil, superficious, super, superficially, super, superficially, symmetrical, verbose, adepts, encompass, entrepreneur, eradicate, homogeneous, um, homogeneous, homogeneous. Presumptuous, sordid, standardized, stint, stringent, exhort, flamboyant, foible, in- innocuous, mag, animus, masochist, met, uh, meticulous, rancor, recrim- recrimination, repugnant, anima, arch, archie, ben, bene, bene, log, lung, mis, mit, mort, poly, tempo, tempor, ten. And here we all on chapter 13. Oh, shite. All right, I'll do it live. Hell. Advocate. Promote. One author was refused permission to give a speech on campus because he advocates violence as means of social reform. Some gardeners consider chemicals and pesticides harmful. Instead, they advocate using organic methods to grow growing fruits and vegetables. Antipathy. Moloch's parents didn't understand why he hated school until they found out that the reason for his antipathy was poor eyesight. He couldn't see the chalkboard. I can't believe my sister is going to marry Frank. Just a few months ago, she showed complete antipathy towards him. A strong dislike. Emancipate. The salesman promised that his amazing machine, a vacuum cleaner, floor floor polisher, and carpet shampooer, shampooer, in one would emancipate us from the hours of breaking our house. Okay, that's a good machine. Does that? Uh, when the Allies entered Germany at the end of World War II, they emancipated many foreigners and political prisoners who had been used as slave laborers in German industries to administer just. Free. Emancipate the free. Alright, let's get another pencil out. I don't like to get pen. Alright, idiosyncrasy, a personal habit. Uh, dang it. Personal habit. Ooh. The salesman promised that his amazing machine a shite. My uncle asks very personal questions, but please don't be offended. It's just his an, an, an idiosyncrasy of his. He doesn't realize how odd it seems to others. For as long as I've known Kata, Sheaves had an unusual idiosyncrasy of dressing in only black. Only in black. Imminent. We cancel the picnic because a thunderstorm seemed imminent. A word spread. The king's death was imminent. The people began to gather at the palace gates. They wanted to be nearby when he died. Likely to occur soon. Impede. Muddy roads impeded the progress of the trucks bringing food to the refugees. The construction work at the mall impeded the shoppers who had to step around piles of planks, cables, crates, tools, and sacks of cement to slow down. Inclusive. The cost of the vacation package was inclusive, covering all airfare and our airfare and all hotels, meals, and doors. The newspaper coverage. The newspaper's coverage of the trial was inclusive. Every day, it printed a word-for-word transcript of the courtroom proceedings. To complete. Jurisdiction. Shakespeare's theater. The galore was built across the river from. A, the river from London. Officials had forbidden theaters in London, but the other side of the river was beyond their jurisdiction. The United States had no jurisdiction over 
foreign embassies on American soil. Those embassies are under the authority of, of their own governments. Of, 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 control. Precarious. The icy roads made travel precarious. Travel. The old, old, old. Worn out electrical wire in the buildings put all residents in a precarious position. At any moment, it could fail, causing a fire. Precarious. Made unsafe. Okay, preposterous. Lewis always comes up with preposterous get rich screen, uh, quick schemes. Now he wants to open a donut shop in Antarctica. The discovery of x rays in 1895, followed by some preposterous ideas and fears. For example, merchants in England sold x ray proof underwear. Oh, preposterous, ridiculous, ludicrous. Probably totes risible. Alright. To delay, to delay, slow, impede, impede. Including much or of everything, broad and complete coverage, inclusive. Alright. To speak and write in favor of support, advocate. Advocate. Ooh, the authority to administer justice, power, range, or extent of authority, jurisdiction. A strong dislike, hate, yada 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 yada, antipathy, yes. To set free from slavery, yeah yeah, emancipation, emancipate. Yeah, dog. To contrary of to nature or reason, and thus laughable, absurd, preposterous. A personal procurity, uh, indios, uh, shite. Idio sing. Crassy. Dangerous, risky, dangerously uncertain, precarious. About to happen imminent. Oh no. Alright, for someone allergic to insect bites. Insect insect bites. Beekeeping would be and precarious whoa yeah, precarious. Nutritionist today. Advocate. That kid is we're really. Here's where we're really, really inclusive. When the jury's verdict was imminent. Yeah, imminent. 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 I swore that nothing would keep me from getting to Gloria's wedding on time, but I was pff, impeded. Sure. Impede. Dilatory nonsense. One aim of today's women's group is to. Pff, is to emancipate goody goody since the bank robbery had involved crossing state lines the federal government had no jurisdiction Bert has an for everything that is not percent American. He thinks it makes him a patriot, but yeah, he just doesn't like foreigners. Ignorance, okay. But has an idiosyncrasy for everything that isn't hundred percent American. Has a antipathy. Yeah.
When the little boy said there was a fog in the glass of milk, everyone laughed at his preposterous idea until he showed us the frog. Oh, the frog. I said fog. Temiko always likes to show off her shoes, uh, take off her shoes before entering the house. Ralph thought this was a per, uh, idiosyncrasy of hers, but it's her culture, probably. Didn't read it. Oh, crap. Syncrasy. He learned it's a Japanese and Japanese custom. Uh -huh. One member of the school board's school board. Brrr. One member of the school board advocates a more a more a more like what? Advocates more jurisdiction in high school, more emancipated, more precarious. One member of the school board advocates, advocates, all right, all right, a more blank high school curriculum, inclusive, with courses such as, okay, yes, inclusive, it's inclusive. Move on. Chet refuses to use a cell phone. For most people, this all y'all would certainly impede Cha. Being outdoors in an electrical storm is a precarious precarious when a storm is imminent, the optimist strategy is to go indoors and stay there. That ain't, that's it for the old pages. During the Civil War, President Lincoln's administration could not actually emancipate the slaves because the government had no jurisdiction in the south Ellen's antipathy towards Jack was based on her mm. Based on her... Also, I didn't secrecy. Ah, shite! Oh, uh, Ellen's antipathy. Yes, definitely antipathy. Okay. I'm antipathy. What's left? Oh, it was just, uh, but it was based on her, but tenacious. It was based on her totes rude antipathy at a secrecy, imminent, preposterous. Preposterous? Is it there? It's not. Oh, wow, it's preposterous. 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 But tenacious belief that in a quantum. Quantum life, Jack robs her family of its life savings. Perhaps more than anyone else I know, and cares about animals. Her affection for them is all inclusive. Extending even to animals others find less appealing, such as rats, which she keeps as pets because she loves animals and hates to see them caged. She objects to anything that... Impedes any creature's movements. This explains an idiosyncrasy of hers. She lets her pet white rats run freely throughout her apartment. Anne's view of cages have has also led to a strong antipathy towards zoos. 
Anne had, if Anne had jurisdiction, jurisdiction over all zoos in the world, she would make them illegal and emancipate all the animals from their captivity. Many people argue that the zoos protect animals, but Anne scoffs at the idea, saying it's preposterous because animals often die when they're being trapped for zoos or shipped for zoos. At eight, preposterous. The most... The most... Dun, 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 dun. She believes that the most life in this world that the most she believes that the most blank oh whatever. In addition, Anne's way in says that some views inadvertently give grievous heart <coughs> to animals. By purchasing them from dealers who have obtained the animals illegally. The zoo officials don't want animals to be harmed, but accepting them from corrupt sources encourages illicit trapping and killing. Of course, Anne realizes that her utopia, a society without cages or zoos, with animals permitted to stay in their native habitats, is far from imminent. Nevertheless, her spirit has not been squelched. She continues to advocate at a freeing the animals in the hopes that someday zoos will close their gates forever. What is left? All right, all right. Is antipathy is on the list. Advocate is on the list. Impede is it on the list? Yes. <coughs> Inclusive is on the list. Emancipate is uh, on the list. And jurisdiction is on the list. And idiosyncrasy is on the list. And precarious is on the list. Uh, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's not. All right. The most precarious life in the wild. Screw it. Screw it. Precarious. And that's where the I. I is on the Finn.